Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to deep condition your synthetic wig. Alright, so I'm going to come on here today and I wanted to show you guys how to deep condition your synthetic wigs. So when it comes to washing and conditioning your wigs, there's a couple different levels I like to say. So there's just the standard wash and condition and move on with your life. And that's just kind of what you're going to do every 20 to 30 wears, depending on, you know, how the wig's looking, if you're using products in the wig and so on. I do have a video on how to wash your synthetic wig, which we'll put right here for you guys if you want to check that out. But then there's a couple other levels of kind of conditioning your wig. So you can do a couple things. You can do a leave-in conditioner if you want. You can do a fabric softener soak if you want. And then there's this next kind of heavy duty level of deep conditioning. And I really like to do this if my wig is just looking really, really fried. I came across this awesome product on Amazon. You guys know I love my Amazon products. And it's called the Silicone Mix. And I really just wanted to show you guys kind of my process on how I use this and show you kind of the before and after of what it's gonna do to your wig. So I did go ahead and go on Amazon and I bought the, the original um, formula. This is just the straight up original silicone mix formula. And then like I said, I have the bamboo one as well, which I have used. This one, we're gonna go ahead and use this one today because I wanna try it out with you guys. I have not used just this original one yet. So it's gonna be kind of an experiment for both of us. The only thing I really noticed just opening it up to start with was obviously, I'll show you guys. Um, the color is different. It's yellow versus this is the original, which is white. And then the smell is different. So the bamboo one definitely smells better. I like the smell. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> All right, so now that we've cleaned that mess up that I just made, um, so obviously another thing that's different between the two of these is that this one is a little bit of a thicker consistency than the bamboo one is, and they smell different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go step by step um, and show you guys exactly how I do this. There's a couple things you're gonna need. You're obviously gonna need these. Like I said, we're gonna be testing this one out today. I can highly recommend this one to you already, so if you wanna go get this one, you can. If you wanna get this one after we're done with this video, you can do that as well up to you whatever you decide you want to do the other thing that i would recommend getting is some type of fabric softener i love this one this is the downy calm lavender and vanilla bean i think it smells absolutely amazing and it works really really well so i'm going to be using this as well and then you're going to want obviously the wig that you're going to be doing this to today we're going to be doing this to this wig right here from chelsea smith cosmetics her name is ryan we're going to go ahead and be really just repairing her she's a wig that i've had for a couple years now and I'm gonna be doing a couple other things to her and I wanna go ahead and just start off by giving her a really good conditioning treatment because she's just looking really ratty and rough. I'm gonna be using a bucket of water for this just so that we can really show you guys up close on this table. You can use a bucket of water if you want um, or you can use your sink or tub. The only reason why I kind of recommend a bucket is because you are gonna to wanna to let this sit for at least an hour and then you're gonna want cold water. Technically, if you wanted to, you could use like warm water if it's a straight wig. I just never recommend warm or hot water for um, synthetic wigs, especially synthetic wigs that are curly because you can lose that curl. And this wig that we are going to be doing this with does have kind of a curl and a wave to her. So I'm going to be using cool water and you're also gonna need cool water to rinse her out as well. So that's really all you're gonna need to do this video. So before we get going on exactly how to make this happen, I just wanna remind you guys of a couple things. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna be doing a huge giveaway when we get to 5,000 subscribers because that is our goal for this year. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notification on all the videos that I do. And then also, I would really appreciate a like if you could give me one. If you found this video useful at all, it lets YouTube know that you guys like my videos and then it tells other people to watch them as well. So now we can go ahead and get started on how you can do this to your wig. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, before you do anything to this wig is you're gonna wanna take wide tooth comb and you're gonna wanna brush through this wig just to make sure you get rid of all the tangles and any matting that you have. Something I recommend doing, especially if this wig has a lot of damage to it, is actually brushing this on a table, brushing it on top of a towel or something like that works really well because essentially this way when you're brushing, you're putting a lot more of the pressure into the table instead of onto the actual hair itself. And it's gonna keep you from really damaging the fibers of the wig. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of take this. We're gonna start at the ends because you always wanna brush at the ends first. We're gonna brush the ends out and then we're gonna work our way up and make sure we just get rid of all these knots and tangles that we have. I'm gonna flip her over 
do the same thing, get the top layers as well. So once you feel like she's really good and brushed out, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and apply our silicone wig mix to our wig. You can use gloves for this um, step if you want to. This is really just a conditioner. It's not gonna do any damage to your hands or anything like that. So you don't need to use it. It's just like if you were shampooing and conditioning your hair in the shower. Um, I'm not gonna use gloves, but you can absolutely use gloves if you feel the need and you don't wanna make a mess. Um, I'm literally just gonna take like a big scoop of this and you're gonna wanna use a decent amount. Don't feel like you don't need, you know, you're not using a little pea size amount. And we're gonna go ahead and start right here on the ends. And we're gonna just really get this all on this wig nice and saturated. And you're just gonna take your hands and kind of just run it through and just get it all over the whole wig. Um, this really is important to concentrate mainly on the ends. I'm really gonna get the ends nice and saturated and then I'm just gonna run a very small amount of this through the top part. If you have damage on the top, you can absolutely put more in there. And I just wanna make sure I'm really getting it all in here you can kind of separate pull make sure you're getting it there and then after we feel like we got the ends really good i'm just going to run a little bit of this through the top part of the wig as well so this is a 150 density i believe she's a little bit more of a dense wig so she's going to take a little bit more product about half of this container i would say for this wig these aren't expensive i think this container right here is like seven bucks because this is a silicone mix so it will help keep your wig from tangling and stuff like that after. So I wanna make sure I get a good amount of this right here at the nape of the neck where you tend to have those issues with matting and everything because it's just gonna really help coat the fibers. This isn't really absorbing any of this because obviously this is synthetic fiber and it doesn't really absorb like human hair does, but it's really gonna coat this wig and just help keep it uh, from tangling. So we're gonna really just make sure we get a good amount right here on the nape of the neck. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is, and this is kind of an optional step, but I like to do this just to help add more of that conditioning to my wig. Um, I'm gonna take my fabric softener, I'm gonna put two capfuls, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put this wig right into this bucket, and we're gonna let her sit. So we're gonna let her sit for an hour. You wanna make sure that you have enough water in here where she's you know, nice and submerged push her in there. I kind of just like to spread her around a little bit. You're not trying to really rinse too much of this off at first. You don't want to take, take your own rubber or anything. You just kind of want that silicone mixture to sit on her and have her sit in this fabric softener soak. Um, I usually let it sit for about an hour. That's what we're going to do today. You can let it sit longer if you feel like it needs a little bit more help, but an hour should be good. And then we're going to come back and we're going to go ahead and rinse her off drier a little bit and show you guys the final results. Okay. So now I've gotten her out and I've rinsed her with cool water and I'm just gonna go ahead and I put her in a towel and I'm just gonna pat her dry here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our um, wide tooth comb again and we're just gonna kind of lightly, just kind of brush through her. You don't wanna do any, too, any crazy pulling or anything like before and just kind of brush through her. It shouldn't be too bad now because you have all that conditioning and everything that you've done. So she should be pretty easy to brush through but I just wanna kind of brush her cause she's been like kind of balled up in that hot for the last hour. All right, now I feel like she's pretty good in brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on a wig head. I'm gonna blow dry her just so that you guys can really see how the ends look now that she's been conditioned and all of that. And then we will call it a day. Okay, so I went ahead and I partially blow dried her. She's still a little damp up here on the top, but I really wanted to show you guys just the difference between the ends on her from before. Um, I'm gonna hold them up here like this, but you can really tell she's just much softer. She's got that floppiness back to her here. She's not as frizzy and I can run my hand through her. My hands aren't getting caught through her and she just feels a lot softer. She smells really good too, which is a bonus, <laughs> added bonus. I've kind of lost most of her curl from just wearing her for the for as long as I've worn her and I'm gonna be doing some new stuff to her and kind of bring her back to life. But I wanted to go ahead and do this conditioning treatment first on her before I do anything else to her and I wanted to show you guys as well. This product really works really well. Like I said too, there's a lot of extra benefits. It smells really good and just kind of revitalizes and just does a really nice deep conditioning to your synthetic wigs. And like I said as well, it's also going to kind of coat 
a little bit on these fibers and help it from tangling up as much as you wear it. I hope this was a helpful video for you guys. Like I said in the beginning, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications on all the videos I do in the future. If you liked the video, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.